and I had to, I had to, because I had, hello, mate. <laughs> I got you there, Jim. You did. You got me. Uh, got mid, you, there. you got me mid-sentence talking about what's going on uh, with the weather. Right. How are you, buddy? Yeah, actually sitting in your beautiful office, Jim, nice and relaxed. Well, apologies that uh, you're suited up and I'm casual today, but uh, but you've done a wonderful job today, Andrew, and uh, congratulations on some good results. Yes, uh, been a busy day uh, thus far. Uh, still a couple more opens. Um, the uh, team is out and about still, so they'll probably finish up their last opens now. Um, but overall, just in our office, we've had just over 213 buyers go through uh, today's opens, which is which is which is great. Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, that's that's a day, right? Uh, which is which is huge. So um, you know, yeah. basically a lot of buyers out and about, um, and obviously a couple of um, you know, I suppose good buyers come out of it. And when I say couple, more more or less offers, right? So we've got Priangle, which we're negotiating at the moment uh, prior to auction. So um, yeah. uh, you know, a couple of really strong offers. On that property there so uh but numbers overall have, have been great interesting that you say that um uh when i say interesting that you say that for people that see auctions that are scheduled they should reach out because occasionally properties will sell beforehand just like this one in Piangle place in taylor's lakes that isn't scheduled for auction for another couple of weeks i think yeah. um, yep. And, uh, and, and there's some, you know, standout offers there at the moment. Um, we certainly don't play God when there's a standout offer. It's up to the vendor to decide what they want to do. Given a number of vendors say to us from day one and they sign off on the fact that they want to run all the way to auction, regardless of what happens, uh, but not every vendor does that. So, you know, we, we often talk about market feedback and our job is to be the conduit between the buyer and the seller and talk about... Um, feedback so if a standout offer comes along and a vendor wants to treat that's what we do andrew but um yeah definitely jim there's a there's a lot of the talk about buyers and, and and we obviously um you know doing everything we can to help our sellers get the best possible price right we, we obviously understand that's our job but you know yeah. buyers we're there to help them as much as we can and um we have to listen um to them as well and um we can't stop them from making an offer on a property now as you mentioned you know the easiest process to go to auction because we know um, on the day of the auction you know you've got the buyers there it's a, it's a transparent process uh, but if someone wants to uh, make an offer because they've sold their property and they um, don't want to wait um, exactly to the date well then we're there to listen no problem yeah 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 exactly so let's um talk a little bit about last week andrew uh, we had easter break last weekend um, yeah. it was wonderful it gave everybody a chance to spend uh, some time with their families on the back of our last um, video that we did our last live stream we uh, wished everybody all the best now the um, what was a really positive from from a property point of view uh, was that although we closed the office essentially for four days friday saturday sunday monday uh, our job never stops and our team were available and working remotely and five properties got transacted digitally, remotely, um, salesperson at home, buyer at their house, they'd already seen the property, they wanted to make an offer. We did it remotely and five deals got done. So by the time we got into the office on Tuesday morning for our sales meeting, there were five transactions done, which were great. And we'd already planned our opens for the week, right. which has delivered 213 people so far coming through our opens, which was outstanding. But I think the really important thing where we've seen a little bit of a shift just in the last week to two weeks is that there has been a lift in the amount of properties coming on the market, Andrew. And so far, what have we got for you're sitting in my office and you look absolutely fantastic sitting in my office, actually. Yeah, I've got to mention this lighting that you have is just brilliant. I've got to, we've got to swap desk, I reckon. But, uh... I've, 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 I've told you before, I'm prepared to move out of there and you are more than welcome to this take over. Make you look good, Jim. It's, uh, it's LED lighting, mate. It's LED. And uh, uh, 19, 19 auctions so far. 19 on the board so far for yeah. May, plus another six. So that's 25 auctions so far for May. Yeah, um, plus, which private is sales. plus private sales, plus St Albans, plus Caroline Springs. So, you know, we're, we're seeing a bit of a lift um, in available stock, which is a great thing for buyers, right? It's a really good thing for buyers because buyers have been screaming uh, for choice and they've been screaming for property. Um, so it's good to see 
that everything we've been talking about, people are now deciding that it's time for them to make the move, which will give buyers a little bit more choice. Um, you know, some people might think, oh, well, that, that'll spread the buyers out. The reality is only one person buys every property. So, right. um, you know, they'll, make, they'll, they'll choose their A preference. If they miss out on that, they might have their B preference. Um, I don't have any doubt at all that uh, the demand is strong enough to, you know, take up the stock that comes on the market. And in, in actual fact, we need more. Yeah, it's almost impossible for that to happen. If you think about, you know, just this week meeting um, 213 uh, people uh, through our opens, um, and we even if we had 30 auctions in in a, in a month, it's 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 virtually impossible for that to happen. Now, buyers obviously spread out and look at all the properties, uh, but they'll they'll go to each auction, the ones that they like, and with uh, technology, you know, online auctions available, they might be having husband and wife, I oh, sorry, husband and one auction wipe another and all that kind of jazz as well so um i definitely definitely believe that buyer demand at the moment is, is is way too strong even if we had 50 auctions if that makes sense yeah, right? so, um but yeah definitely understandable uh there is obviously more choices which is great for buyers uh, but stock is still quite low compared to how many buyers are out there yeah exactly so we'll talk about a little bit let's talk about today's activity um, we only had a couple of auctions on today, but I've seen some amazing results come through. Consistency is still there coming through from the Barry Plant Group across Melbourne. But today we had 90 Inglewood Drive in Burnside Heights, Andrew. Um, both auctions today were run indoors due to the inclement weather. Um, Lass, Michael and Chinsia were at Inglewood Drive. They had a really good crowd. Luckily, it's a spacious home with beautiful open plan living areas. Um, four really good, strong bidders. Property ended up selling for a, a very healthy 815000 And uh, you, of course, were at 34 Crescida um, Crescent in Sydney. Tell us what happened there in the Rose Edge estate. Yeah, Jim, it's a little uh, boutique pocket uh, in Sydney, and I love that pocket. It's actually really nice. Like, you actually get a lot of people crossing over from Tallers Lakes, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, you do. It's so close um, to, obviously, water gardens and, and, and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, look... Great crowd, uh, called that auction in, indoors as well. Um, I think we had about six, seven um, registered uh, bidders there as well, which all which all bid um, yeah. and sold for a healthy 760,000 for you know, a three bedroom and a study home in Sydney um, on 575 square meters of land. So um, yeah, really good result. Uh, that's great, that's great. Now, the week coming up now, we've got uh, next Saturday at 11 a.m. Uh, Kangaroo Court Court. At 12 noon, five Tambo Court in... So Kangaroo Court Court is a three-bedroom, bathroom, uh, garage, townhouse, yeah? Yep. In a really good complex. Then we've got five Tambo Court in Keelor. Uh, then we go to... Uh, I'll talk about Keelor for a second, Jim. Yeah, let's talk let's about you, it. Let's cut, cut you off there. Now, uh, Keelor is not an area that we, we sell a lot of properties, as, as obviously we know, but we do uh, obviously service, service that area. Um, but this property here is a home that has had just over 130 buyers go through in the last two and a half weeks, which just so shows you um, how many buyers are out there looking to buy in Keelor. Because Keelor, there's not a lot of homes that actually hit the market, right? So tightly held. Um, it's such, yeah, it, it is tightly held. Um, so if anyone's thinking of selling in Keelor, please come to the auction <laughs> next Saturday uh, because that, that, that should be a good auction to go to. Yeah. And then we had a couple more, Andrew, that sold uh, previously. We've taken them off the market, which takes us back to what we said today at the start. Uh, Nine Bellevue um, driving Kilo Downs yep. sold beforehand, uh, as did 10 Mark A Court, which was sold during the week. Um, what did that achieve, Mark A Court? Uh, 748,000. Yeah, great result. And Bellevue Drive, I think, 830. 830. Um, Kilo Downs home. Yeah, look, you know, great result, that one there. And I'm not sure, have we got a twilight this week? No, that's the the following week. Yeah, that was Piangle. That was a twilight auction for the 22nd. Ah, that was um, Piangle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, um, we're looking forward to this week coming up. As always, uh, we're seeing some strong numbers. We will continue to see strong numbers because, you know, all the elements are there. With, with good interest rates. Um, Andrew, construction, another thing at Terrace Square is moving along really, really well. I put up a little video that. on uh, Thursday. We had a site meeting. Um, again, amazing opportunity there for first home buyers, investors or downsizers to buy a brand new 
three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, double garage, courtyard, great size yard, uh, townhouse at 549,000, ranging up to 599 for some wonderful terrace homes along the front. Uh, don't think we've got any, oh, we've got one. We've got one more single level left, I believe. Um, I think that sold during the week, didn't it, Jim? Did that sell as well, did it? I'm pretty sure it has, yeah. Oh, okay, so all double stories remaining. Um, you know, fantastic project, Andrew. Um, Terrace Location Square. is amazing. Location is fantastic. Location is brilliant. You know, you're 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 a ten minute walk to Water Gardens at the station. Um, service road access. It'll be a boutique. It's a boutique development. Um, I, I just think it's an absolute ripper for people. It's one that I've actually suggested to friends. Yeah. To buy into. I can't go wrong for that price point. If you're if you you know if you've got a budget of six hundred thousand these days and you want to be as close as we are to to um, you know station and whatnot. What else are you going to buy? You know, yeah. so your two bedrooms are now getting almost five hundred thousand dollars, Jim. You exactly. Know? So, uh, well, well, Andrew, we sold um, Hannah, uh, Hannah Avenue Unit Three at thirty Hannah Avenue for four seventy nine, uh, two bedroom, right? Yeah. Uh, and for not much more, you're getting a brand new three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, double story with a double garage. So, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the numbers stack up. It, it's uh, it's great. Also, Andrew, uh, just a shout out to you. And uh, Justin and your team on an outstanding March, mate. March was a record month right across the board for most real estate agents. It's not about blowing our trumpet, but I think that when results are achieved that go above and beyond what is expected, um, there has to be due recognition. So, mate, fantastic effort from you and your team. I don't want to embarrass you and talk about the numbers, but your numbers were, were just incredible. It's something that most people that are in real estate and for any real estate agents that, that tune in and watch this, happy to talk to you offline about the numbers, but the numbers are just mind boggling. And, uh, and it just shows, um, it, well, it's, it's actually just reward for the effort and the care and the attention that you put into your clients. So congratulations to you. And uh, we're all extremely proud of the results that you achieved. And, uh, and, and on top of that, what we're really, really proud of is to have watched you grow into the, the person that you are and the operator that you are. So outstanding effort to you. Um, and it was wonderful on Thursday, Andrew, to take the team. We gave everybody the choice. Where yeah. do you want to go? We've got to celebrate. We've had a great month. Um, you know, we haven't been able to go out for over a year. Um, and, and it was wonderful to go to one of the Melbourne institutions, the Flower Drum, with all of our team and have a great lunch. That was good, wasn't it? Oh, Jim, it was, uh, Flower Drum's a beautiful place. It's uh, a venue that, you know, everyone has to go. Um, I've only been there once, to be honest, but, uh, you yeah, know, Jim, it was great. You know what, just having the, the whole team together is, is probably the best thing about it is, you know, best thing about it, sorry. Um, you know, again, it, it creates nice harmony. We obviously, as you know, with the three offices, Callan Springs, to Norman, Tellers Lakes, we don't all get to get together all the time. Um, you know, even though, you know, Tellers Lakes, you know, obviously we all work together, but we're all in and out. We're all busy. And, you know, we're, we're all, you know, kind of just doing our own, own thing. Um, so spending, you know, half a day together for some nice lunch was great for you guys, you and John to, uh, yeah, get together and uh, take us to beautiful Flower Drum and uh, the team, uh, definitely loved it, Jim. So thank you very much. Mate, it was great. And a big shout out to our mate, Jay Louis, that uh, owns the Flower Drum and runs it and does a great job and always looks after us when we're there. So uh, so that was wonderful. Um, and then yesterday, Andrew, uh, out of work, we had uh, the Melbourne Victory in Business luncheon at uh, Palladium. And here's an interesting thing for you. There were almost 900 people in the room uh, yesterday, and that's part of our corporate sponsorship you know we they're playing right now actually and uh, what's the score i don't know there's a break i oh, was it what was that probably five nil no they were one nil down i'll tell you where they are at the moment no they're showing highlights of something else but um but anyway uh, you know we know the team's struggling this year as the chairman said but supporters stick fat and uh and you know it's a cycle you know you can't always be at the top of the curve it's exactly the same in real estate. And we always use the analogy in our business that it's like a sporting team. Um, it's a, it's a, it exactly the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's exactly the same. You're managing a team um, and you need to be cohesive and work together as a team. And obviously that's not happening on the, on the pitch at the moment for victory, but I'm sure they'll turn it around. My point is that yesterday there was a function at Palladium, uh, victory in business, 
and almost 900 people in the room. And the great people at uh, the Palladium um, said to us that it was their first function since March last year. Wow. So in 13 months, it was the first function of that size that they've had again. And uh, a, a number of our clients were there, Andrew. A lot of them actually, uh, that were there on various uh, tables. And it was great to reach out and see them and, uh, and talk to them and, uh, and network with uh, a lot of the businesses. There are a hundred odd businesses that are members of the Victory in Business Coterie. Um, and it's something that we do outside of real estate now, some people might be thinking, what's the point? What are you talking about it for? Well, the reason I'm talking about it for is because that those connections and those contacts are what assist us to get more property on the market. And right. that flows through to our buyers. And it's right. those relationships that we form at a corporate level, at a business level, that enable us to network and do what we do on a day-to-day -day level. So I just wanted to reach out and just say that it's good to see Melbourne back. It's good to see Melbourne active and it's good to see people out and about. Just like today we did two auctions indoors, which we wouldn't have been able to do no. a few short months ago, right? Yeah, how things have changed. And um, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good, Jim. It, you know, people, I, you know, one thing about the whole thing was is, um, you know, people... Yeah, their, their, their faces, their smiles and so forth, um, seeing them at and about is, is, that's the best thing about it, you know. Yeah, it is. yeah, this time yeah. last year was completely the opposite. Obviously, everyone, everyone was going through tough times and people are still getting over it, of course, but it, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. It is. It is. All right, mate, I think we, uh, we wrap it up. You're in the office. I'm actually away. I've had to come and meet some tradesmen to do some work uh, at our place and uh, they've just left, which is great. So I've just got a bit of tidying up to do. But, uh, but mate, I don't know what you've got on tonight, Andrew, but whatever you've got on tonight with the family, have fun, enjoy it. Yeah. And, uh, mate, you and I will talk, but otherwise I'll see you Monday morning. See you Monday morning to everyone else. Thanks again. And uh, we appreciate your support. Have a good weekend. Good on you. See you guys. Bye, everyone. See you guys. Bye-bye.